Mrs. Blackstock. That's right. Your husband's being monitored at the moment. We're not... It's not going to... Uh, everything's going to be all right, isn't it? Well, we're just carrying out some tests. We can find out exactly what's happened. But it was a heart attack, wasn't it? Well, I wouldn't like to say until we've seen the results. No, sorry. Can I see him? Of course. I must ask you not to tire him, though. Still at it? Afraid so. She seemed concerned, didn't she? Well, here's her ex. I suppose. So she'll probably be up at the hospital for a while. Missing her, are you? He can't be more than 60. From what I've heard, his women tend to be after that. Nice work if you can get it. He could have passed over to the other side by now. Well, something in my water tells me he has. He was as white as a sheet when they carried him out. Well, perhaps not a sheet. That tan of his will take some shifting. Let's just hope that his good deeds outweighed his bad. Oh, his poor daughters. And then there's Diane. She'll miss him, despite their hostilities. Will you two shut it? We don't know anything yet, and you're going on as if he's six feet under. We are allowed to speculate, you know. And what would you rather? That we sat here getting everybody's hopes up? You know, they've been at it for the best part of an hour, and to be honest, they're only saying what everybody else is thinking. Well, have you found a clear yet? No, couldn't find her anywhere. Maybe she's gone job hunting. There's no time for quips, Chloe. Looks like her father's had a heart attack. Joking. Sorry, I didn't realise. Is Nicola not with you? Louise is looking for her. She must have gone shopping or something. We fell out. Aye, I know. Louise will tell her everything. She'll be here as soon as possible. And Bernice? I've rung Bernice. She's very upset. But you're going to be fine. Yeah, I know. She had no way of getting back here anyway. No, not till the ship's docked. You must be loving this. How do you mean? Seeing me... incapacitated. Acting my age. Get away, you old codger. I'm sorry we argued earlier. If I'd known... Would you have been... A little less aggressive with me. Stop it. You're very unwell. I just want to see you get better. And disappointed it's all over. Eric, this is where we begin. Yeah, but the campaign. I rather enjoyed playing little games with people. There's no reason why we need to stop playing. In fact, I'd say... That's what'll make the journey so interesting. Mm. The journey to my ascension. <clears throat> Our ascension. One thing is for sure, however much effort the mayoral campaign required, the road to Westminster will be many times trickier. But many more times rewarding. Where's the satisfaction in a victory that hasn't been fought for? With that in mind, we shall feel no fatigue. The one time you actually want to get hold of Nicola and she disappears off the face of the earth. Marlon, is everything all right? Can you keep a secret? Yeah. Because I think I'm going to go mad if I have to keep this to myself a moment longer. Wait, you're not going to make a pass at me now or anything? Hmm? No, please, please, is it? I mean, not that... No, 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 no. It's just... I know it's not probably the best time to go shouting about my good fortune, but then it's not every day you win £15,000. What? Oh, Mama, that's fantastic. How? On a scratch card across the road earlier on. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, my God. What are you going to do with it? Oh, don't ask. Don't ask. So far, I've bought us a new sofa, a car, a five-star holiday. I mean, I haven't, but I want to, you know. <laughs> well, don't go and blow it all. The question is, when do I break the news to Tricia? Well, I won't say anything. And what's a few hours? Tell you what, why don't you just... Tell her a bit later on when everything's calmed down a bit. I don't know if I can contain myself a minute. <laughs> what are you two doing out here? Oh, Trisha, hi. Um, we were just talking temperatures for the oven. Lamb shanks. Yes, yeah. Thank you, Louise. I'll go and turn up the heat. 
Just you remember, he's spoken for. All right. Good to see you're enjoying your new career, mate. What do I want, Stan gets? Any news? Not that we've heard. Right, I'm going in for one. Come in. Oh, well, it's almost six. Yeah, why not? Chloe's in there. Yeah? Alone? I think so. Give you something nice to look at while you sup up, eh? I'll do more than just look. Who wouldn't give an after chance? Hey, Brian? She's, uh, she's nice looking. You what? She's well fit, eh? We're going in, then. Brian? I'll just do a bit more here. OK, mate! Chris, you wanted to see me? Yeah, um, come in. Sit down. Is everything all right? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. I see. Rodney's had, well, what looks like a heart attack. Oh, no. Is he OK? He's been taken to hospital. We're waiting to hear. When was this? At lunchtime in the village. So we'd better assume that he won't be able to work for quite a few weeks. Right. Does that mean I should manage Dale Park on my own for now? <laughs> well... Oh, it's not a problem. In fact, I quite enjoy the challenge. Thank you, but I've decided that I should come out and help for a while. I think it's too much for one person to cover. You're satisfied with my work, aren't you? Of course. Ugh, despite the last few weeks' problems. Well, none of that was down to me. Uh, not all of it, no. But you'll be too busy doing what you usually do to cover for Rodney. So, I'll see you up there later. Another one in there? Oh, uh, yeah, thanks. I'll see him again. Please. I'll be over in a minute. Oh, <clears throat> all right. Oh, hello. Where have you been all this time? In the kitchen, of course. Why do you want to think you're trying to avoid me? Well, well, I just thought after one out with Rodney, it was best not to be in the way. You shook me up, Marlon. It was my granddad, and when I heard about the ambulance, but it's taken it right out of me. Yeah, you do look a bit picky, Trisha. It's the shock to the system, isn't it? Are you all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, I'll talk to you later. I'll try to stay calm, the way. Have you found anywhere to live yet? No. Why? Any suggestions? Second Betty's? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, here they come. The mayor and his mayor. Just ignore it, Harry. But every one of them wouldn't give to be in chains. Aye, aye, kinky. <laughs> it's a large whiskey for the mayor and a small orange juice for myself, please. Listen to her. She always did get above herself. Yes, of course, you're right. They're consumed with envy. Just keep smiling and nodding. That's the key. <laughs> Yeah, what she said to him, oh, hang on, because I think I could do the voice. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. Not allowed to make too much noise out in the country now, are you? Nicola, where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. What's the guy do with you? I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news. It's your dad. My dad? What's happened? It looks like he's had a heart attack. But he's been taken to hospital and he's going to be OK. A heart... Nicola... What, what, what am I going to do? He's going to die, I know it. Oh, no, now, come on, lass. <laughs> Louise is right. Things don't look so bad. No, he's my dad! Right, well, we need to get you to hospital as soon as possible. I'll come with you. Marlon, will you call her a taxi? Yeah, doing it now. It's going to be all right. Where is he? I want to see him. Where is he? Nicola, try to keep calm. Nicola. What are you doing here? They couldn't find you. He's OK. They're just waiting for some test results. Are you trying to stop me seeing him? No, of course I'm not. I'm just trying to tell you that things are going to be all right. Maybe we should try to find a nurse. Look, I don't need permission to see my own dad! Well, that's really lovely, is that, Brian? Thanks very much. Oh, Dinah, be that appreciative. Cos it's an enhancement, isn't it? Is that what it is, Trisha? We'll get lost, you. Can't see that Viv's gonna be too pleased. Makes our frontispiece look a little on the feeble side. 
Well, there's nothing to stop you getting your act together, Bobbo. Yeah, and if we want to win this Village in Bloom contest, we can't have a flower-free post office sticking out like a sore thumb. No, we can't, can we? I'm warning you. I'll have a word, see what we can do. Hey, what I really want to know is, how much do you charge, Brian? Oh, I'm not getting paid. It's just a favour for Diane. Oh. Only I wouldn't mind a nicely hung basket myself. He looks awful. Well, he will do. What if he dies? That's not going to happen, love. He's not at all well, but he's going to get better. That's what I've been told, and I believe it. They know what they're doing, Nicola. Do they? Then why is no one at his bedside? He's resting. Oi! My dad's just been left there. Would you bring your daughter like a quiet room, Mrs Blackstock? It's more private. Yeah, thanks, that'd be great. OK, if you just hang on a sec, I'll get someone to take you there. Oh, any news from the hospital yet? No. So no digging out your wreaths just yet? She's got far too much to say for herself, for a newcomer. Oh, you've only just noticed. Yes, Scott? Uh, fine, please. They've been there long. Not really. Why? Just wondering. Not getting jealous, are we? Oh, yeah, your mother's son, all right. <laughs> Patricia, have you got a minute? Oh, there's something I need to... Oh, now, Marlon. Can't you see how busy I am? Honestly, get that proud of his concoctions. <laughs> Here, what's Rodney partaking of your pot roast lunchtime? Hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa. My food has never harmed a living soul. There's always a first time. Will you not stop going on about debt? I've told you already. Dream on. Go on. That'd be great to wake up to. But mind what you say from now on, sir, lad. You saw this? Oh, hiya. We were just joking about what it'd be like if Sid moved into our place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Well, thanks for the offer. We're fine as we are. Hey, it's all right, mate. We're just having a laugh. Yeah, we'd better pay. Scott? Well, I could pay you pretty decent rent. We can pay our own rent, thanks. I've told you, we're not interested. What's well, enough, Sydney? What have I said? Scott's just messing around, aren't you? Hi, darling. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. There was so much to do in office before I could even think about going on this trip. Charity, this... Still just enough time to kiss my husband. And then pack me overnight bag. Let's get to it. Why is she doing this? Because she's proud. I mean, she made the book in with Ray and she wants to see the job through. Prove herself to you. I'd much rather she stayed here. Well, I don't think you can stop her, do you? <sighs> no. But it's probably best you go too. Eh? Hey? Just give her some company. You're not worried about her, are you? I mean, you don't think something might happen to her? She'll be fine, but it's a long journey. I'd be much happier if, if you went with her, Terry. That was Diane, everyone. Uh, Rodney's sleeping at the moment and things are looking positive. Oh, well, they would say that, wouldn't they? Why can't you, for once, be pleased? I'm only joking. Why did you have to make such a big deal out of it? All right, I'm sorry. But the way you were talking, I think you did want him to move in. Oh, why is that? Because I was laughing. <sighs> I wasn't as if you said anything funny, either. I'm just saying, maybe he's got a point. Maybe a lodger would help us out. Yeah, maybe. Not him. Oh, come on, Scott. It's a small village. There's hardly loads of people looking to find somewhere to live, is there? It'd be ideal. I'm happy with it just being the two of us. <laughs> It'd mean we could afford to go out more. Chloe, I've said no. Can we change the subject, please? Good evening to you, Cynthia. What can I tempt you with? <laughs> I'll just have my usual tar. And ease buying. What Marlon, you mean? Oh, is he one, does he? Auntie well, bought you one and all. Oh, he hasn't. No, why? Why aren't you celebrating, Marlon? Celebrating? What's all this, Marlon? Well, hadn't he told you? He won £15,000 on a scratch card earlier on. Really? Well, well, I... Well, I... Why haven't you told anyone? Oh, Marlon. Wow. Wonderful news. Uh, champagne all round, wouldn't you say? Oh, <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I've not had a chance. What's to going on? Trisha! Hi, hi. Uh, things I was going to tell you, but it didn't seem appropriate with Rodney and everything. It's won £15,000. How? On a scratch card. <laughs> I'm having me on. No, he's not. I was there, I saw it. That's true. I don't believe it. Well, I, I hadn't really told anyone, and then Cynthia opened a big gob. Uh, and I was going to wait until I got the cheque, you know. How soon is that going to be? Well, I've registered me win, so once they processed it, I can pick it up and lead. Fifteen grand! Oh, I don't believe it, Marlon. We're rich! <laughs> We're rich! Oh! Right, 
then. I'd best be off. Hang on a minute. Look, Chris, if you're going to try and stop me from going again... No, I'm not. I'm really going to miss you, but I'm happy for you to go. But can Terry go too? Why? I, I can manage on my own. Yeah, but it'll be company for you. More like keeping tabs on me. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Of course I do, but it's a long journey and... Well, Terry can help with directions. Don't patronise me, Chris. Look, um, if you'd rather I did I thought it would make the journey more enjoyable. Oh, OK, why not? You don't mind, then? Why should I? Gives me a chance to spend the night under the stars with this strapping on, Terry. <laughs> yeah, right. Got your overnight bag ready? Well, I'll just chuck a change of clothes and a toothbrush in a plucky bag. The only other thing I ask you to do is ring me. It's not going to be easy spending a couple of nights without my wife. Oh, isn't it sweet? I'm so sorry, Dad. I never meant to cause so much trouble for you. It's just I get so frustrated. I couldn't bear to think that I'd lost your support as well as everyone else's. I never wanted to fall out with you. Oh, Dad, please be all right. You can't go like this. I couldn't cope without you. It's always been you and me, and it always will be. Oh, if only we'd stayed away from that village. We'd never had a crossword before. I'll never forgive myself if anything happens to you. I want us to start again with a clean slate. Please, Dad. Let everything be okay. Then we can get back to normal. Don't die. You can't. couple deserves a windfall, it's you too. Man, there isn't one couldn't do with a few quid, is there? There's more to life than winnings. Is there? Like having your health, as Rodney Blackstock knows only too well. Oh, Diane said he's fine. <laughs> Come on, get that champagne cord. <laughs> what I could do with 15 grand. Yeah, tell me about it. Property. That's what I'd think my need to. Imagine being able to afford one of the pads we're working on up at the farm, eh? Uh, I think they cost a good ten times more than what Marlon's just won. And the rest, love. So, Cynthia let the cat out of Marlon's bag, eh? Eh? Maybe you didn't plan on ever telling you, Trisha. Because knowing you, you'd probably just go and spend it all on fripperies. Me and Marlon don't have secrets. No? No. And whatever fripperies are, we don't have none of them neither. Everything all right? Yeah. I'm just thinking, getting married doesn't really change things, does it? No, it's only a piece of paper for the difference it makes. Of course it makes a difference. We have sworn an undying commitment to each other forever. Despite the fact we weren't actually speaking when we made oh, the no, vow. No, 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 you misunderstand me. I was so happy before we got married. With you. Were you? I couldn't love you more if I tried. And the ceremony, well, it just goes to show, doesn't it? Sometimes undying commitment is something that you agree to anyway. And I am committed to you. No one can ever come between us now. Huh. It's you and me against the world. Eric, hmm? got a bit of mayonnaise on your moustache. Just let me. All right, my jackpot man. <sighs> Rarely felt better. Me neither. <sighs> so where is it then? Where's what? The winning ticket. Oh, that. <laughs> um, it's in my other jeans. The jeans you were wearing for your lunch shift? Yes? Why? <laughs> oh, Marlon. They're in the washing machine. No, 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 no. Only joking! A joke. What did you think you're playing at? It was only why didn't you ask? Why? Because you kept it a secret from me. I didn't. You had that ticket for hours before you let me know. I was going to tell you, I promise. Not what Louise reckons. Well, what does she know? She's, she's Australian. 
and blonde. You say all the right things. Do I? <laughs> but in future, I want to know as and when. Right? Right. <laughs> He's still sleeping. They said he would be for a few hours. I can look after Nicola if you want to go home, Emily. Yeah, go on, Em. Thanks for coming with me. If you're sure. Will you ring me if you need help? Yeah, I will. <sighs> I feel awful. It's not your fault. Isn't it? How could it be? We've not been speaking for a while now. Yeah, that's not the reason. I bet it is. I've caused all this. I've been winding him up, putting him under pressure. We had a massive row this lunchtime. I've been terrible, you know. I've done some terrible things. That's all in the past. I'm a cow. We all say and do things we regret, Nicola. Some of them we don't even mean. But we go ahead with them because we think it'll make us feel better. You're not alone in that. Oh, no. Of course not. And your dad? He'll pull through. And when he does, you can tell him what you've just told me. Because I reckon he'd love to know he'd got his daughter back. Mrs Blackstock. What's happened? We've just had the results of the tests. Everything all right? Well, it definitely was a heart attack, but the initial treatment we gave him hasn't been as effective as we'd hoped. What do you mean? We're going to have to do an angioplasty as an emergency. But he is going to be OK, isn't he? Well, I'm afraid we can't tell until we know the outcome, but it is a routine procedure. OK. Uh, what's she saying? She's saying it's too early to say whether your dad'll make a full recovery, Nicola. 